Hi, my name is Mark Raven. My main theme here is that lean is lean. I've been fortunate in my career to go from lean manufacturing to then a traditional startup that failed, to lean healthcare and now also into hopefully what's going to be a successful lean startup. Lean is lean. Because the hospitals I work with say, look, don't turn us into a factory. That's not the point, any more than we would be trying to turn a software company into a factory. It's lean principles and philosophies that are transferable that are really important to solve the things that matter, like the expense of healthcare in the US, but this is a problem around the world. Everybody's costs are going up, and they're trying to figure out how can we pay for it. The US pays twice as much as Finland, and we don't get really good results. And beyond that, healthcare is really dangerous. 150,000 Americans dying every year because of medical errors, hospital-acquired infections. This is a problem around the world, too. But it's the equivalent of four planes crashing every week, and we don't hear much about that. But the great news is that lean hospitals are busting the myth that you can only have two out of three, like we would say in construction or software. Time, money, quality, you can only have two out of three. The great news is that lean hospitals are showing that better quality costs less. Now, traditional design of a hospital is basically waterfall development, and the results are predictable. Throwing the design across the wall, not engaging the people that actually use the building, we get hospitals that just don't work very well. You see a doctor's walking pattern, running around looking for medications and supplies and information instead of treating patients. They spend more time with this waste than they do with the patients every day, and the quality of care suffers. The good news, hospitals that apply lean to designing a new cancer center have now put all of the care that's required other than radiation treatment in that same room. So a sick patient doesn't have to stomp around from building to building in the snow. Traditional design gives us, instead of vanity metrics, vanity construction. Soaring atriums, marble lobbies, things that really don't contribute to care, and they don't serve the people doing the work. We don't have a lot of designs for effective and safe buildings. When hospitals let architects drive the design process, we get this. We get parallelogram-shaped buildings that look pretty on the outside, but then we get triangle-shaped storage rooms that don't really serve. There's a lot of wasted space. So the lean hospital design process basically follows a build, measure, learn cycle. But we build a prototype because we can't iterate steel and concrete. We get hospital staff members involved very early on, like you see pictured here translating their actual work into effective design. They're teaching the architects how they work and what they need and what their patients need so that we get better buildings as a result. We see a lot of prototyping, using cardboard to mock up a room or an entire unit so people can see how the hospital is going to work or not work and make changes both little and small before it would be too expensive or impossible to change that design. So with Lean, there's an approach called integrated project delivery that basically gets everybody working as a team, the hospital, the architects, the builders, rapidly iterating through the stages of the design process, and we get far better results. Seattle Children's Hospital built a new outpatient surgery center that they delivered faster, they built it smaller, and they built it cheaper than a comparable project. And you know what? It served the needs of the patients and their families and the staff. It just worked better. And it's not just the hardware of the building, it's the software. You have hospitals changing the way they provide care so that it's a team of the doctor, nurse, and pharmacist, and then that leads to innovative new spaces that fit the way that they work. But nobody builds a perfect hospital. So like you see pictured here, hospital teams meet daily for process improvement in Kaizen, built on, I guess, the original build, measure, learn model of PDCA, improving the way they work each and every day. They do it in what might look like a Kanban board, tracking their ideas either on a bulletin board or sometimes in software, but it's rapid process improvement and tweaking that space where they can if it's been built more flexibly through a lean design process. A hospital system in Indiana, you can see uh, the chart here, last year had more than 4,000 small Kaizen improvements driven by their staff members. Millions of dollars of savings, better patient care, better quality, better patient satisfaction. So why do we do lean in healthcare? It's really about reducing waste for the staff, reducing waiting, reducing harm. We bust those trade-offs, everybody wins, that's really what lean is about.
thank you.